Hey Tech Talk viewers, this is a follow-up to the JetBot AI Samsung Smart Vacuum, and we have finally mapped up our uh, entire upstairs. This took about two days for the uh, JetBot AI to go around, but now you can see uh, it actually mapped out and learned all of our rooms in our upstairs layout. Now, this is the interface. Um, this is within the SmartThings app, and you can see how it has identified uh, different rooms. Now, if you take a look, it uses its AI to actually figure out where uh, the beds and the different things are in the house. Uh, there's, there's appliances. Uh, you can actually target different places to clean. Um, you're able uh, to actually zone off no-go places. So I know some people asked, hey, how do you set no-go zones? Once your entire room is, uh, or your floor plan is roomed out, what you can do is actually just go and you can actually edit or manage the maps and you can edit these no-go zones. So what I actually did was, uh, you know, we can edit the map and uh, you can divide the rooms, you can rename uh, the rooms, you can actually set boundaries. So I had no-go zones that I actually placed and you can resize them and move them around just like that. And I actually don't want this to go into our room four, which is a walk-in closet and also the bathroom. So I set that area there. Right here I have my Peloton bike. I really don't want it messing around the Peloton. The kids' uh, bedrooms are up here, bathroom. Uh, where you guys saw it we'll try to walk off the uh, staircase. We don't need it to walk off the staircase, so perhaps we'll leave it uh, undone there. Although, you know what? Frankly, let's let it walk off the staircase because there is a little lip right there of carpet that I do want it to clean, right? So what we can do is we can set these no-go zones or we can even have it spot clean. So a cool thing about this... Uh, app is that you can just say, hey, you know what? I'm sitting right here. I want it to clean the area right here in front of the TV because it's a little soiled. So we're going to say, hey, come there and we're going to let him, him, we're going to let little JetBot move right here to start spot cleaning. So we'll let it travel over here and say hello to us. All right. It's navigating to us now. So uh, this is worth uh, having the uh, robot map out the entire area because once it completes mapping, you'll have this map appear in your app. However, otherwise, you will not see this show up. You can see robot started moving out here. It's telling us it's in the zone now. And it's going to clean this grid that I've laid out right here. But we have a remote there, so we'll see if it navigates around there. It's making a perimeter sweep. Oh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that remote control. So let's see what it does. It'll probably clean around it though. Very good. Okay, so it's learning to move around the obstacle, but at the same time, it is going to clean this arbitrary square that I've asked it to clean as it moves back along here. Give you an idea it's making that square right there and it has remembered our go zone so likewise go figure out your no-go zones Let's see what it thinks about me sitting here I think it'll be fine so it's going to complete this grid that we asked it to clean. And with the exception of the remote control here. It 
it's demonstrating it can navigate around that obstacle. And we'll see what happens when it completes this area here. So again, this will take about two days for it to uh, map. It can, uh, like in the first video, uh, I did demonstrate you can clean while it maps. So you don't have to have it just run around. Uh, it will continue to map this out until it is uh, fully drawn out and the map will show up and be remembered once it's finished mapping. If it hasn't finished mapping, then you'll just have to continue letting it map until you get this layout. Uh, and the rooms uh, appears on your SmartThings app. Uh, it's pretty important to let it map so that you can use these advanced features like spot cleaning, like no-go zones. And you can see how the Samsung JetBot AI is smart enough to figure out exactly what we wanted it to do, even with us throwing a, a wrench in the works here with a with a remote control in the zone and you can see on the uh smart things ai here it's cleaned up this grid and it's headed home back to its station so a lot smarter than the previous generation with a lot more finesse you can see just this grid that i asked it to clean is all cleaned it's headed back to its little corner. You can see it on the map. You're going to hear it dump itself with the vacuum cleaner. Here it goes. It's docking. Seeing it on the map here. It's backing up. Kids have their laundry out here. It's docking. Got all their kiwi crates here. Vacuum it up. No, I think it just went to charge. No dump. Anyways, that's the uh, JetBot AI room app here. This is how the go zones and the no go zones work. Uh, now you can just set it to clean. Uh, other things that you can do, uh, you know, you can customize your your rooms here. What else do we have? We can have it clean around furniture if you want it to. Uh, so it's identified some things around my rooms here. Spot clean we showed. Um, you can change the suction power. Uh, I can tell it to empty its dustbin now. So we'll force it to empty its dustbin. There it goes in the background. There you go. And what else do we got? Cleaning report. The last time it cleaned was four square meters. Home monitoring, manage uh, maps, and we can also schedule. We can schedule the cleaning uh, patterns for the daytime when nobody's home, for example. Again, this is a Smart Things app uh, available for your JetBot AI. Uh, this is a demonstration of the mapping features and the smart features of the new Samsung JetBot AI Plus robot vacuum check out my other video for its initial demonstration but hopefully this shows you its power in its ai navigation mapping features its go and no go zones all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the chan clan tech talk reviews thanks for watching subscribe